question is going to be, can an individual get work done by two different spiritualists? The answer is going to be no and yes. No, because if the spiritualist is not from the same culture as the individual, because let's just say you have one person practicing Haitian voodoo and you have someone practicing America, you know, African American hoodoo, right? Two different systems. There's different techniques. Yes, there may be some similar methods when doing work, but there's differences in how they go about their ceremonies and rituals. So therefore, because they're from two different worlds, their application is going to be two, two different approaches. And one may not understand what the other is doing. You know, so therefore you may have a hoodoo practitioner that says, burn your candles low and burn your candles high. Where one voodoo practitioner will tell you, you know, that doesn't matter. Bur you know, burn this candle here or move this item over here or place it that way. So both of them have two different methods. You know, now, when we're talking about yes, or when I say yes, to it being possible, possible in a manner or if the situation is that both of them are from the same culture. And that doesn't necessarily mean all the time, but if they're from the same culture and they have or the same tradition, they understand what the other worker is doing. You know, so even if there's error, that spiritualist can correct that error, you know, or if it's legit and the work is good. What you're doing or what the other spiritualist does can complement what the other spiritual worker did. You know? But in most scenarios, to be realistic, you find a conflict in work. Either it's most of the time it's either going to be one spiritualist work is better than the other, or one spiritualist says, I can't do work for you unless the other person's job is, you know, removed or you know it's done whatsoever you know for me I prefer to deal with customers that has not gotten work done or you know or you know are is able to tell a spiritualist to turn the work off because for me I like to take credit for my work I don't want any type of you know uh, you know skepticism of whether or not another person's work had an impact I like to have a clean slate so when things are happening I know what's going on and number two if there is a problem you know, I know how to correct it on my end. Now, if you got somebody else's work and there's a problem with that work, there's a great chance and possibility that your, you know, one spiritual worker may not know how to correct it because he did not create it. So, it's a situation that can be very, you know, uh, very confusing because it can be good in some senses and then it can be, you know, chaotic in the other. You know, I would say viewer discretion is advised you know see again you know if you have honest legitimate spiritual workers and sometimes i find myself you know in past because you know if i get busy with customers i tell them go get a second opinion from a reading from another spiritualist you know but you know even sometimes i even recommend my clients to other spiritualists you know to get a reading whatsoever and that's because you know sometimes i'm tired you know i'm very tied up or I just don't feel like doing readings. Lord knows, I fucking hate doing readings. I prefer doing work, you know? Um, but as far as that is concerned, when it boils down to spiritual work, it's, you know, to get two people, some, I, I, rec I, I try not to recommend it, you know? But again, if I know certain people, I do recommend certain people, you know? But again, you know, those that's more of a rare situation when it comes to spiritual work. Um, but other than that, this is my thoughts, and I hope this video is very informative. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.